business is clearly booming for the recycling king of Klong Toy. In Bangkok's largest slum, Nopachai Misawan's home is a junkyard. He buys what some don't want and sells it to others who do. He feels poor people here are willing to give the government a chance. If the government gives handouts to our community, I think they are sincerely trying to help our people. Others are more skeptical, like some in the motorcycle taxi business, who will now have access to a social security system as well as low interest state loans. This is their chance to prove that we can trust them. But if the loans turn out to be bad debts, that's our tax money going down the drain. The government says these new policies will be designed to improve the quality of life for Thais in communities like this. But with the Prime Minister talking about an election in the first half of this year, some wonder whether it is simply the first big campaign promise. The handouts are part of a national reconciliation plan, devised after the violence in Bangkok last year between the army and anti-government protesters. Is it, is it time or design to gain uh, political uh, support? Well, why not? I mean, um, if we can help the, the people, if we can improve their um, living conditions and we gain political support as a result, I think that's fair game. Most of the red shirts supported the former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat, who was ousted in a coup four years ago. His party claims the current government has simply stolen his ideas. This is a photocopier government. They always copy our policy. People know that the more they copy our policy, the more the people understand how effective we are. The people in communities like this seem to be willing to listen to what the government has to offer so long as they're not simply being used to win an election. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.